Headline story, the list keeps growing. We have learned that more women have come forward claiming that Anthony Garcia duped them into eating his semen. And partly because of that, the feds now want him to do even more prison time. News 13's Amanda Goodman is live in the Newsplex with the story. The total now stands at five women who all say Garcia place, replaced a yogurt sample with his own sample. Tonight, federal prosecutors are pushing for a longer sentence than what was recommended. 32-year-old Anthony Garcia admitted to federal prosecutors he passed out samples of his own semen, trying to pass it off as Greek yogurt. He was arrested a year ago at the Sunflower Market on Corrales Road, where he worked after a female customer recognized the taste and called cops. Since then, News 13 told you about two more women coming forward, saying Garcia also gave them unsavory samples. She remembers in particular an, an incident where she consumed something that she, after consuming it, um, felt like was uh, a substance that was not as advertised. Now we've learned there are more victims. Federal court documents show two more women have come forward saying Garcia fooled them into eating his semen. For those keeping count, that brings the total to five over a three-month period that they know about. Federal prosecutors are trying to convince a judge that despite the lack of criminal convictions in Garcia's past, this case and his arrest history show he should get more prison time than what was suggested in the sentencing guidelines because they say Garcia's conduct was perverted and extreme. The motion also lays out three other instances in Garcia's past, including two indecent exposure cases, one at a Walmart in 2004 and one on a Bolske trail in 2010. It also points out his pending trial on child molestation charges. Now, Garcia pled guilty to federal charges of tainting food and lying to investigators. His sentencing is set for next month. He faces a maximum of eight years. The lawyer for a couple of the Sunflower victims says no sentence will help his clients forget what happened. Jessica? Okay, Amanda, some of the women, including the original victim who called the cops, are suing Garcia and Sunflower Market, claiming the Colorado-based chain didn't keep an eye on its workers and didn't do background checks on them.